Hello, hi everyone. Good evening. I'm Dr. Divya. Today we'll be discussing the most important as it is important for the pilot to know about the airplane before the fly. Same goes for the anesthesiologist. One should know about the anesthesia machine before we take a, a case in a GA or MAC. So we'll be discussing today the high pressure system, intermediate and the low pressure system. When we say the high pressure system, what does it mean? How much high it is and what is the intermediate and the low pressure system? Usually the high pressure system we see, uh, we consider, yes. So the high pressure system, we include the oxygen at 2000 PSI and the nitrous at 750 PSI. This is the high pressure. When we talk about the intermediate pressure, the intermediate pressure when we say regarding the cylinder, it's around 45 PSI G. And when we talk about the pipeline, is around 55 to 60 psi g and when we say it's a low pressure it's around the approximate to the atmospheric pressure of 5 to 8 psi g so high pressure is the oxygen cylinder having 2000 psi the nitrous 750 the intermediate and the contents 45 to 55 to 60 for the pipelines and 45 for the cylinder and the low pressure is since uh, it is the low less than 10 5 to 8 now, what are the components of the high pressure, intermediate and the low pressure system? Today, we'll cover what are the components does it include, what all it includes, because this is important from the practical point of view, from the clinical point of view, along with that from the theoretical and the MCQs. So the high pressure system, you may find various like uh, headings among different books, but I have tried to like help you to memorize. You may remember the high pressure system contains the four components mainly, intermediate 5 and the low pressure 6. So it will be easy for you to remember at least what does it contain. The high pressure system, it includes the cylinder. In this, we'll study the cylinder. The cylinder is made up of its parts and how do we examine and what are the safety features. We'll study the hanger yoke assembly, the pressure indicator also known as the Borden's pressure indicator and the pressure regulator. Because we cannot give the high amount of the pressure of 2000 PSI to the patient, right? So we have the pressure regulator. So for high pressure consists of the cylinder, hanger yoke assembly, pressure indicator and a pressure regulator. Okay, coming up to the intermediate pressure, it consists of the flow control knob, the pipeline gas supply. It includes the pipeline along with the uh, pressure and the pressure regulators, oxygen flush, the oxygen nitrous fail safe wall and the oxygen alarm and the low pressure system consists of the flow meter common manifold vaporizer pop of wall a common gas outlet and the hypoxia prevention device now how to remember this like this is the anesthesia machine when you look at just uh, in a like a uh, diagrammatic manner okay here usually you have the flow meters here you have the vaporizer here you have the oxygen flush here you have the auxiliary oxygen and at the back is the cylinder Okay, you start from the cylinder and here is the pipeline connection somewhere. So you start from the cylinder from the back, you have the cylinder, hanger yoke assembly, pressure indicator and here we have the pressure indicators that reflect the pressure. So that is the high pressure system. And all this includes the and this flow control pipe, pipe gas line, this includes the low pressure. Whatever you see usually in the front, like flow meter, vaporizer, common gas outlet these are the low pressure system okay see high pressure start from the back okay we have the cylinder we have the check valve cylinder pressure gauge the borden gauge hanger yoke assembly here we'll discuss and the pressure regulator as told okay so the four uh, revised with me right now the uh, components of the high pressure system are the cylinder the borden gauge pressure regulator okay uh, the pressure relieving valve the check valve. Then we have the intermediate pressure. In the intermediate pressure, we have the pipelines, the pipeline pressure gauge, the pipeline indicators, the oxygen supply failure alarm, and the oxygen flush valve. Whereas in the low pressure, we have flow meters, we have calibrated vaporizer, we have the check valve, oxygen flush, and the common gas outlet. So the high pressure system will start with the cylinders. We'll, con uh, we'll study the cylinders, the uh, part of the cylinder, what are the safety features of the cylinder, and how does it act. So the cylinder, first of all, we should know like basic about the cylinders before coming up to that. 
कि सिलेंडर्स आर मेड अप ऑफ मॉलीबेडनम स्टील अलॉय यूजली द स्टील अलॉय बट इट इज मेड अप ऑफ द मॉलीबेडनम but now uh, as the like um, with the development there have been a mixture of the carbon or the molybdenum steel alloy as well so in the mri compatible cylinders as we all know we cannot take the oxygen cylinder inside the mri room but which are mri compatible are made up of aluminum so this is one of the mcq even when we have the question in dnb or final year md or even the viva the examiner may ask you the mri you are going for the nora theek hai you can add this point for the nora as well so it is important so you take the oxygen cylinder which is mri compatible it is made up of aluminum and the other cylinders are made up of the molybdenum steel alloy okay nacc machine is very beautifully uh, designed it has a safety features in each and everything for example in the first starting with the cylinder so the cylinder has and the cylinder have this uh, color coding okay so the color coding oxygen is white with a black body white shoulder and the black body the nitrous is blue antimony is white and blue the helium is brown air is white and black so most important you should know the oxygen the nitrous the air and the co2 okay the so oxygen is a black body with a white shoulder nitrous is blue antimony is a mixture of nitrous and oxygen so it is white and blue carbon dioxide gray color you uh, most of you have seen during the laparoscopic surgeries the gray color the big cylinder the jumbo cylinder usually there then you have this uh, helium helium is also an alternative gas to be used in the laparoscopic surgeries but is uh, rarely used not used much then we have the air which is uh, white and black and the cyclopropane orange okay so you should know the color coding of the cylinder which is commonly asked in mcqs it may come as a mcq in a super specialization exam or you are giving for appearing for any sarship exam and even in the viva because the dnb final year exams are approaching and so is the practical all those who have given the theory exam so it is a right time to study so first uh, in the cylinders we had body body is made up of molybdenum steel alloy then we'll coming up to the valve so this is the stem can you see here this small small holes and this big hole this is the washer okay this is the hole for the pins pin index we'll discuss this further okay so the valves the cylinders are filled and discharged through the spindle valve it is made up of the brass and or bronze okay either of them it has a port this is the port point of exit of the gases and it is has a stem this is the stem which is uh, rotated during the valve opening or the closing so there is two type of the valves which help to fill the cylinder cylinders are filled and discharged through it the most common is the packed type of valve it is sealed by a resilient packing such as teflon and minimal leak around the threads it is called the direct acting so the valve you should know the part of the cylinder up until now we have read is the body and the valve okay the body is made up of aluminum steel uh, so, sorry this uh, molybdenum steel alloy mri compatible are made up of uh, aluminum then we have a valve and the valve are of two types one is the packed valve which is most common and the second is the diaphragm valve so the diaphragm valve it usually see um, like it is the metal to metal and a bonnet and preferably where the uh, preferably when the pressures are relatively low and the no leaks allowed the advantage over the packed valve and is that the packed valve can be opened fully when it is uh, usually half or 3/4 turn whereas to open the diaphragmatic valve it requires more than 3/4 turn so this is the diagrammatic picture we usually see this and get confused ki ye kya dikh raha hai so people students usually get confused so nothing to worry about this is the diaphragmatic valve kind ठीक है हियर यू मे सी दिस इज द स्टेम द डायग्राम वी सॉ अभी इनिशियली दिस वन दिस इज द स्टेम वी सो ठीक है दिस ओनली दिस इज द स्टेम नाउ विल बी लुकिंग सम थ्योरेटिकली इनसाइड दिस इज द स्टेम एंड दिस इज द डायफ्रम एंड दिस इज द सेफ्टी रिलीफ डिवाइस ठीक है दीज आर द टेपर स्क्रू थ्रेड दैट हेल्प टू फिट द सिलेंडर सो व्हेन एवर देयर इज दिस दिस इज द डायफ्रम ठीक है व्हेन एवर देयर इज इंक्रीज इन द प्रेशर whenever we connect so diaphragm is pushed down the turning the handle once we turn the handle clockwise the diaphragm is pushed downward and it closes the seat 
as soon as the seat is closed, there is opening of the valve and the upward force that causes the springs to open and hence the gas is being delivered. Okay, so this is the diaphragm, uh, diaphragm valve. Then the other safety features is the pin index. When you see the cylinder, you'll have this. This is the, you'll see the washer and this is the holes for pins. The pins are on the machine side. The holes are in the cylinder side. Is it? The pin index, okay? So the pin index, it ensures the right attachment. The drawback of the pin index is that you can check out, it may have this, uh, it has this pins and the washer. It ensures the right attachment, but the drawback is that there could be possibilities that you may correct the right cylinder, which you know by the color coding is oxygen. That is the uh, white and the uh, black black body and the white shoulder. But there is a possibility that there is some wrong gas. So the disadvantage examiner may ask you, the disadvantage of pin index is it ensure the right attachment, but does not ensure the right filling of the gas. So there are the, uh, like in this uh, pin index, we have, this is the central, like in the arc of, Around 12 degree apart, we have the holes. Around 7. And these are being named like this. Okay. So these are, so we have this. So we, we need to memorize the number and how does it act. Like uh, the pin index, the pin is usually, we'll study with the pin. The pin is 4 mm long and this uh, wide and the 6 mm long. There are seven holes in a position on the circumference of around 9 by 16th inch. And each of the center board. So uh, like this in the arc of 9 by 6, we have 1, 2, 3. In between is the 7, then 4, 5, 6. So depending upon the position of the pins, we have a different pin index of each cylinder specified to our guess. For example, the, uh, for the air is one, 1 and 5. So this is the 1. And this is the 5. This is the pin index. If you have a cylinder of oxygen, which is 2 to 5, definitely this is not going to fix here. Because 5 is common, but this is 1 and 2. There is a, a distance between 1 and 2. So this help us for the better attachment and the right attachment. So this you need to memorize. Air, oxygen, and the nitrous. How you can memorize is... Remember five, five is common in air, oxygen and nitrous, right? Now air is single, A ki air to is one. Oxygen, how do we write oxygen as O2? It has a two, so the pin index of oxygen is two and five. How do we write the nitrous N2O? It is two of N and one to three, to three and five. I hope it will help you to remember. Air is one, we remember is one five. Five is common among three. Oxygen is O2, so it's 2, 5. The nitrous oxide is N2O, is 3 and 5. This is how you can remember the pin index of air, oxygen, and nitrous. For the cyclopropane is 3 and 6, and for the carbon dioxide is 1 and 6. The most common the usual examiner asks is the air, oxygen, and the nitrous, because even in the NSCCI machine or in the ward, you may see, you usually ask about the air, oxygen, and the nitrous. So I hope it is easy for you now to remember the pin index. Air is 1, 1 and 5. Oxygen O2 here, 2 here to 2, 5. Nitrous is N2O is 3, 5. Okay. So this was for the pin index.